Hi, I'm Max, and this is how to solve a quadratic using the quadratic formula. My group members are me, Olivia, and Eric. You can't do that! <laughs> so, first of all, you're going to need to know the quadratic formula to do the quadratic. So, there's a little song that helps. X equals negative B plus minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So that's the quadratic formula right there, and you're going to need to know that and memorize it. Our example problem is y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. And there's, there's six steps to solving this problem. Step one. So we need to find the a, b, and c values of this. So this is a. Okay. This is B. No, we have to make another one. Where's the sheet? You this is C. Hey, kid, just, just say, uh, and, then, and then we'll do one of these. Step two. This is Jordan yeah. Chance. Yeah. Sign yeah. it out. Then I go. No, no, no. Hey. You have to plug these hey. numbers hey. into the quadratic yeah. formula. Jordan, you have to try no, 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 just say, now, now that you know, graph this equation. Now that you know, plus or minus square root. Holy fuck. Dude, don't fucking do graph. Square Jordan. minus <laughs> four just less a. Equation. Oh, sorry. C. <laughs> All over two. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get suspended. So the next step is to simp is to simplify this. Like we have a lot of these values here that need to be simplified. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jordan. Let's start over here. That's the second. I apologize for that. Jordan. <laughs> Move! So, x is equal to negative negative 2 is the same as positive 2. Plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, which we know is 4. And negative 4 times 1 is still negative 4, times a negative 3, it's just a positive 12. Alright, so step 4 is combine like terms. So, the only like terms we have here to combine are 4 and 12. So we're just going to combine those. Get 16. And then, step 5. Is let me just write out this problem. Yeah. It's literally upside down. Don't start over. I think it's upside down. That's okay. So now we have to do the square root. So the square root of 16 is 4. And that looks like a pretty easy problem that we can all do. So, step six is to separate the problems because it's a plus or minus. So, you can break it up into two separate categories. X equals two plus four over two. And X equals two minus four over two. So, now we have to simplify 2 plus 4 and 2 minus 4. And that is x equals 2 plus 4 is 6 over 2. And 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So x equals negative 2 over 2. Alright, so we just ran out of space on the last one, so we had x equals four, 2 plus 4 over 2, and x equals 2 minus 4 over 2. So this is where we left off. This is a pretty simple problem right here. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Here's your first answer. 
And then negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. x equal to negative 1. That's your second answer. So the final answer for this problem is x equals negative 3, x equals 3 or x equals negative 1. And that's how you solve a quadratic using the quadratic formula. Now, try this example problem. So, to do this problem, you're going to have to use the quadratic formula. Try it for yourself, and then we'll see if we got the same answers. Ahead. So I solved this problem all the way through. I got a is 1, b is 8, c is 6. Plugged all the numbers in, ran through it, got it all the way over to here, and I got my answers as x equals negative 0 0.85 or negative 0 0.9 if you like simple. <laughs> Or x equals negative 7.15, or x equals negative 7.2, if you said like that. So these are the answers.